Hey everybody, I'm Rob Freeman and welcome back to Securing the Built Environment. This is episode 141 and in this episode we're answering the question, will a Faraday cage stop keyless car theft? And for a link to the actual Faraday box that we use in the demo in this video, you can go to robfreeman.com forward slash tools. So if you've never heard of a Faraday box, it is a tool that can help you significantly reduce your risk of being what's being a victim of what's known as a relay attack. And a Faraday box is basically a box that blocks electromagnetic signals. And so in this video, we're gonna talk about what a relay attack is and how it works and how a Faraday box can protect you and your vehicles while you're either at home or at work. So uh, what is a relay attack? Well, a relay attack is a type of sophisticated car theft approach that car thieves use typically working in pairs where one car thief will approach your vehicle using a handheld device that mimics a key fob and the other car thief will kind of lurk around your building or the home where you are and try to pick up on the RFID signal that your key fob inside the house is constantly emitting looking for your vehicle. And the key fobs can send off a signal that can go out anywhere from five to 30 yards. Uh, and so the thief walking around your house will use a, a, an amplifier and a, an antenna, or an antenna with an amplifier to pick up on that key fob signal and then relay it back to thief number one who is standing by your vehicle using this handheld device. And below this video, I go, I link to an article where I go into more detail about how this works with a diagram and things like that. Uh, but basically, once the antenna and the amplifier has the signal from your key fob, they send it back to thief number one. Thief number one tugs on your door handle and that causes your car to send out an authentication signal uh, saying, hey, is the key fob here? And the handheld device convinces the car that the key fob is there and the door opens. And then the car thief can steal whatever, whatever's in your car, get your car to start, um, and there they go. So the way to protect against this is using what's called a Faraday box or a Faraday cage. And what a Faraday cage is, if you're not familiar with it, you probably have one in your house because a microwave is essentially a Faraday box. And what a Faraday box does is it blocks electromagnetic signals from either you know going into the box or out of the box. In the case of a microwave, it's blocking them from getting out of the microwave oven. So uh, you have a Faraday box in your house in the microwave. And so a Faraday box just takes the signal that the key fob is emitting constantly and restricts them, encloses them in a box. And in the video that you'll see, you'll, I'll show you exactly how this works. And you can, I can walk right up to my car using this box. And as long as the box is closed, even when the box is right next to my car, the door will not open. So I'm walking over to my car, which has a remote keyless entry system, like a lot of vehicles. And I stand next to my car and the key fob will just unlock the car just by standing next to the vehicle. I've got the key fob here. So I can open the door, get in, whatever. So I'll lock the car. Now I'm gonna take the key fob and put it in this Faraday box that I bought. And close the lid. I'm gonna take this box, I'm gonna put it right next to the door handle. And try to open the door nothing happens because the Faraday box is blocking the signal that the key fob is throwing off, trying to communicate with the car. So it's protecting the key fob from being attacked by a hacker in a relay attack. Now I can open this box and you'll see as soon as I open the box and I try to open the door, the door opens right away. So it just shows to show you that, that a Faraday box is a nice little tool that you can use at home to protect your vehicles while they're parked. 
And so that will protect you from being the victim of a relay attack if you just keep your car keys inside a relay, excuse me, inside a Faraday box inside your house. Of course, you could throw them in the microwave. <laughs> that would have probably have the same effect. So um, anyway, uh, it's important to just keep you in mind that if you don't have a garage where you can keep your vehicles locked up at night, if they're just parked in the street, and the chances are that you are at risk of having a relay attack if you have a nice vehicle. And so hopefully that won't happen. Um, but you know, a Faraday box is an inexpensive tool that you can use to protect yourself from this type of attack. And some of these relay, uh, these Faraday boxes actually come not only with the box, but also with a Faraday pouch, which is something you could just carry around with you all the time. And they also use, uh, you know, metal metallic mesh fabric to block signals uh, coming from your key fob. So anyway, that's in a nutshell, Faraday box is a useful tool to help you protect you from a relay attack and they do work. And so I uh, hope this helps. If you found this useful, please feel free to uh, like or subscribe to my channel. And for a link to the actual box that we use in the demo in this video, go to robfreeman.com forward slash tools. Thanks again for watching. I hope you found this useful and have a great day.